What's up, guys? Cash back again with some very big news about the studio behind Marvel's Avengers being purchased by Embracer Group. And I'll break down what this news means for the potential future of Marvel's Avengers for you guys. So let's jump into it. So just a few hours ago, news broke that Embracer Group is in the process of buying multiple IPs and Western studios from Square Enix, who is the publisher behind Marvel's Avengers game and the Guardians of the Galaxy game for about $300 million. And for anyone unfamiliar with Embracer Group, they're a major conglomerate company that has quite a few developers under their umbrella currently and have acquired several development studios, with their latest being Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, and Square Enix Montreal. So Square Enix is selling these studios and the IPs and licenses attached to them, which means Embracer Group would be the license holder for Avengers pending Marvel games and Disney agree to continue the licensing agreement. Embracer Group is operating under the belief that barring unforeseen circumstances, Marvel Disney will sign off on the deal and development for Avengers would continue as intended. As of now, news of Marvel and Disney agreeing has yet to be announced, but as I said, there seems to be no indication that they wouldn't agree. The sale won't be finalized until sometime between July and September, so we're still a few months out from the ink drying on this, but as far as what this potentially means for the future of Avengers, obviously if Marvel Games and Disney decide to back out of the agreement, then that would mean the end of the game. But if everything proceeds as planned, then this puts Crystal Dynamics in the hands of a publisher that actually believes in the project and thus would be willing to properly fund the development and supply the necessary resources needed to continue development of future content. Since the game launched, the development resources for the game have dropped significantly compared to the resources it had pre-launch so if all goes well with the deal the future could get brighter for this game because they would potentially be properly staffed for future development which should mean smaller gaps between content releases so as of the making of this video the only things known for certain are that embracer group is in the process of buying crystal dynamics and other studios from square enix and that the deal won't be finalized until september at the latest and that embracer group is pretty confident marvel disney will sign off on things so that development of ips like like Avengers will continue as intended. Anything beyond those things is pure speculation at this point, so whether someone is painting a doomsday scenario or is trying to put a positive spin on things, all we know for sure is that a deal is in place and that it's not finalized just yet. I expect Crystal Dynamics to continue with business as usual, so that means we'll get a post tease in this week's new skin for the week, as well as the new shipment skin for the month, with a possibility of getting news on when we can expect a more in-depth breakdown of what's coming in patch 2.4 and beyond. As always, I'll keep you guys updated with any updates on this new deal, but of course, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think this signals the end of the line for Avengers, or do you think this deal will change the future of the game for the better? Let me know down below, and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week. And if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shop with Fandominion and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.